Linda Carter is set to return to Walford with a bang on EastEnders, as she destroys sister-in-law Tina's funeral. The Queen Vic landlady fled Albert Square in a panic with her newborn daughter Annie last year, as actress Kelly Bright went on maternity leave from the BBC soap, and welcomed son Rudy. She briefly returned to our screens in emotional scenes with Janine Butcher, Charlie Brooks, who sparked her drinking relapse in a bid to get her claws into husband Mick Carter, Danny Dyer. In new pictures, Linda is seen returning with her family as they bid farewell to Tina, Louisa Bradshaw White. At one point, she is photographed screaming at daughter Nancy, Maddie Hill, who is on crutches for the ceremony, with another worrying image showing her clutching a bottle as things become too much. A smiling Janine caresses Mick's face in one moment as she joins the Carters and their neighbors for the somber occasion. But it is not clear whether the truth will emerge over the part she played in Linda's addiction battles. Spilling the beans on the action, a source told the Daily Star, after Tina's body is found, her funeral is held and all her loved ones gather to pay their respects. And Linda is at the center of the drama, as always. She has a blazing row and swigs from a bottle of booze. It's just what you'd expect from an EastEnders funeral. Linda's marriage to Mick has been left in tatters in recent weeks, mostly thanks to Janine's secret scheming. In shocking scenes, Janine reprised her alter ego when she turned up to Elaine's pub with a bottle in hand, tempting her with a drink while getting her to open up about her rough few years in Albert Square. After her relapse became public knowledge, Mick initially tried to help her but was rebuffed, and returned to the vicar single man. Will Janine finally get her comeuppance, and can the Carters help Linda before it's too late? The scenes are thought to be airing in spring, and Kelly is believed to be back at work full-time following the birth of her third child. I'm so tired, but it's been amazing, she said of her new addition. I'm trying to savor every bit as these first few weeks are so precious and this is definitely my last. I'm sure your body makes you forget how hard the first few weeks are and what that sleep deprivation is like. It's like nothing else. We went to Cornwall a couple of weeks after he was born which was a bit crazy, but it was lovely having that time just the five of us so we could all get to know each other.